do you think of when you think of seniors? And you know, the typical answers, cranky, old, hard of hearing, no teeth, you know, the whole range of descriptors come out. You provide these children with somebody that's not their parent, somebody that's objective and outside, somebody that has patience, and somebody that they feel they can trust. You know, all these uh, presuppositions about these personalities and these traits and these characteristics went away, and the relationships that form. My name is Mary Brock and I'm the Executive Director of the Foster Grandparent and Senior Companion Programs here in Northern Nevada. For the foster grandparent, it's making a difference in children's lives and seniors' lives. Uh, these children receive a lot of benefit from the intergenerational contact and patience and love and mentoring and tutoring. We try to go into the Title I schools, so those are schools that have already been flagged as needing help. We just have a lot of kids struggling mostly with their reading and there's statistics that show that if they're not up to par at third grade their chances of going on to graduate are just plummeting. So we have them placed in elementary schools and high schools and middle schools. Uh, we have them placed at a juvenile detention center. Um, we have them in transitional housing uh, facilities. You know, and they're there to focus on helping at-risk youth of all ages. The children that are served best through this program are actually uh, designated by the, the teachers. So we rely heavily on the teachers and the schools where we have foster grandparents to decide who needs that most help. I think a grandparent's perspective is one that when they come to an elementary school is they're there just full of love and I think there's children thrive with love. The first year that I was at Bernice Matthews, Grandma Mary worked in my classroom and she was a very strong asset to the education of the children in that classroom. About 23 years ago, when I was no longer going to do ceramics at the senior center, um, the lady for the foster grandparent program, Mary Ann Dyer, asked me if I'd be interested in working with the program. I think it has touched a part of my life that I kind of missed on my children I had to work when mine were little. And there are a lot of children that just need to be loved and understood. It's very good for us seniors because it keeps us going and makes us more independent. I can't tell you how much this program has meant to me because I don't think there's a word big enough for it. You see immediately the impact of what you're doing for these children and what you're doing for these teachers and what you're actually doing for the whole family unit itself. You know, you're helping, you're one component, you're one piece of that pie. And in addition to that, you know, with the volunteers such as Mary McCalliard, she comes in here five days a week. She knows what she's gonna do when she gets up every day of the week. She looks forward to that. She comes in here, she works with these children, she helps the teacher, the school loves her, and it gives her purpose and joy in life. 